Samsung LED DLP, getting the famous Fan 3 error. What I've done is I've gone ahead and labeled which fan connectors go where. So fan 1 cools the DLP itself. Fan 2 comes all the way back around here and ah, you can see it back there I promise you. And then fan 3 is this guy here. Alright, so now the thing is you can replace with factory fans, but they run about 20 to 30 bucks, depending, and that's assuming that you can find them. And eventually, I'm pretty sure that they won't be in stock anymore. Now, these TVs are great. They're easily repairable. They've got a lot of leg in them. So, what you can do is replace the, the, the fan with an off-the-shelf computer fan. So now you turn a $30 fan into a $2.50 fan. Now that's fine, except these TVs are very picky about the rotational speed of the fan. Too high, too low, generates a fan error. So I'm going to show you how to bypass this. Okay? Now, be advised, these TVs are very sensitive to heat and electrical noise. So do not, do not, do not simply bypass the fan error without replacing the fan. And do not, do not, do not just plug some J random fan in, okay? Go to a computer store, buy a nice one, and then solder it together with the original lead. And now you're going to have to bypass the fan error because odds are the computer one rotates at a speed higher than the one that it was originally designed for which will generate the fan error. So, if we look at this cable right here, that's what carries the fan error messages. And as a matter of fact, if we look at the manual, I've already taken the time to label each pin on the connector. So we can see fan three error is pin seven, which is green. So, how does this fan error work? Well, thankfully, because of digital logic, there are only two options. It's either going to go high or it's going to go low. What does that mean? That means that the switch is either normally closed all the time or normally open all the time. And then a change in the switch triggers the error message. Sorry about that stupid telephone. Alright, so in this case, the pin is normally shorted and then it breaks the circuit when there is an error. Okay. So all we have to do is ground the pin. Well, that's, that's easy. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. So, on this connector, if you look on the back, there are all these little latches. Find the green pin. That's a little guy right there. And all you need is a sewing needle. You pop the latch and you pull the pin out. Alright, now I've got my fan 3 error pin out, just hanging. So now we can plug it back in. Hard to shoot video and plug things in at the same time. Alright, so now I've got this pin. What am I going to do with this pin? Well, you see that strip of electrical tape I put right there? We're just going to tuck it underneath the electrical tape so that I've got a good solid ground to the chassis ground. See that? Now, through the magic of television, I'm going to turn this bad boy on and see what happens. Look at that. No error message. Isn't that pretty? Now again, I'm going to repeat myself. Do not, do not, do not bypass fan error messages without first replacing the fan. Cannot overstate this. Do not, do not, do not bypass 
the fan error message without replacing the fan. Because you will easily turn, like, oh, hey, it's great. I just saved $30 on a fan, and it's working fine. No. All you did is shut off an error message. The, th the problem is still there unless you replaced the fan. If the fan is still bad and you just bypass the error message, these machines are heat sensitive and they're sensitive to radio noise. Okay? So eventually you're going to blow a DLP chip or you're going to blow one of the flat, flat lead chips and that means that you're going to say go from saving 28 bucks on a fan to spending $280 on a new DMD chip plus a service call or spending another $85 on a new flat lead chip plus a service call uh, unless you, uh, the flat lead chip you'll probably be able to do it yourself the DMD chip I mean they're nice televisions they're easily repairable they've got a good service life ahead of them there's no reason to bypass this unless you just can't find the fan to replace it or it's too expensive and you've already replaced the fan with something at least comparable. God love you.